غادي نعطي فكره على القصه العربي بالنسبه للاخوه اللي ما يفهموش الانجليزي وهو ان شاء الله غيكون لنا القصه ديالو فاخونا هذا عندما بشر الايمان قلبه وتعمق بدا يصوم وبدا يطبق اركان الاسلام فهو طالب هنا وجلس مع بعض الرهبان فهؤلاء الرهبان شعروا بانه الشيء الشاب تخير في معاملته وبدا يصوم فخيروه بين ان يترك الاسلام او يخرج من يطرد من البيت وهو طالب محتاج الى هؤلاء الناس محتاج الى بيت ففضل ان يترك البيت ويخرج محتفظا بدينه وبايمانه من ترك شيئا لله عوضه الله خيرا منه ماذا حصل الله سبحانه وتعالى ساق لهذا الاخ اسره مسلمه طالب مسلم يدرس معه فحكى القصه لابوه فقال له ابوه اتي عندي انت مثل ابنائي فالاخ الان جالس الحمد لله مع عائله مسلمه لهذا انا قلت الخير في وفي امتي الى ان تقوم الساعه والله الخير فيكم والله هنيئا لكم انتم سفراء الاسلام في هذا البلد والله ما اتى بنا الله سبحانه لهذا البلد الا من اجل هذا العمل ان نشتغل لدين الله ان نخدم دين الله ان نقف مع هؤلاء الذين شرح الله سبحانه وتعالى صدرهم للاسلام فان شاء الله اي واز جاست ترانسليت يور ستوري ذات يو تول مي سو ان شاء الله يو ويل سي ات ان انجلش يو نو تو بيكيم ا مسلم وي هاف تو بيليف ان 6 بيلرز اوف فيث اند 5 بيلرز اوف اسلام So the, the, the six pillars of faith, I will remind you, is to believe in Allah, one God, to believe in all the prophets, to believe in all the books, to believe in all the scriptures and the angels, and to believe in the day of judgment, and to believe in the destiny or the decree, the good of it, the bad of it, are all from Allah. You believe in this? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, then when we believe in the pillars of faith, we have to practice. The practice, the five pillars is the, the, what you are about to say, the testimony of faith, that's the first one. Then the five daily prayers, the five daily prayers, and then the zakat, the charity, and then, yeah, yeah like that. It's all right. That's <laughs> good, mashallah. You're like astronaut. <laughs> and then uh, in one slide you go to uh, do the, uh, the pilgrimage if you have the means. So those are the practical five pillars of Islam. You already, inshallah, you already start fasting this month. How it was? That was great. <laughs> Good, mashallah. And then the prayer. So now, inshallah, you say after me, Ashhadu. أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no god but Allah. And Muhammad. Muhammad is the prophet and messenger of Allah. Is the prophet and messenger of Allah. Takbir. 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 Inshallah, now you have a chance to let us know how did you come to Islam and the challenges and the hardship that you faced. So that uh, all of us, inshallah, we, are, we, are, we have to be refit and we became a good Muslim. Okay. Salam uh, Okay, I'm not really a good speaker, but I'll try my best, inshallah. Um, well, first, uh, I was born in New York City, um, born in America. I, um, I was raised as a Christian. Um, I had a big family, um, five brothers and sisters, and then my mother and my father. Uh, we used to go to church every Sunday. Um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Growing up, I 
always loved living, um, being around my grandparents, my grandpa and my grandma, um, and my mother's side of the family. Um, <laughs> you got I'm sorry, I'll try again. Um, growing up, I, I love being around my um, grandparents and my grandfather and everything. Um, they, they're Muslim and I just love seeing them, the spirit they give off and there's all these great, all these good things coming towards me. Um, I didn't understand it when I was five or six or seven years old, but until I got older and becoming more strong and, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> And um, understanding, um, I'm sorry, let me slow down. Um, understanding what it means to be a Christian. I started really getting into um, Christianity when I was 17 and understanding it. Um, understanding it, I started really going to church more. Uh, I always had troubles uh, accepting, accepting the fact that uh, Jesus Christ, he's a peace be upon him. Um, that, you know, he was the son of God. And it always, like, bothered me at night. Um, sometimes when we pray, we always say, uh, um, in the name of Jesus. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm so nervous. Uh, I can't. It's <laughs> so uh, I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah, I always had trouble saying, praying, um, growing up. As a Christian, uh, my grandma, she's a pastor of the church. I always go to church with her most of the time. Uh, I live with her some, um, some of the time when my mother and father, father was going to get home to divorce. <laughs> going through the um, divorce. Uh, uh, um, I don't know what else. Uh, so, so what happened? Well, what happened to you with the family that you used to live? Oh, what, what was going on with my family? My mother and father was going through the divorce. I uh, I always kept myself active and learning. Learning, I play football, I draw, I play trumpet. I always kept myself active and I love to learn. And I always kept an open mind. Uh, but um, going to church a lot and learning, I was always told by, I was told by seven, several different pastors that, you know, I was called ministry, you know, I was supposed to speak and help lead people and help lead the youth. But at that time, I didn't see it. Um, uh, I didn't really understand anything. So, <laughs> um, but as I got into high school, as I got into high school, uh, and, you know, <laughs> I can't, I just got to show this down. <laughs> Uh, as I got into high school, I met a mentor, my music mentor. Um, he was a pastor. He was a, um, he was in training to be a pastor, and he's uh, United Methodist Church. Um, I stick with him more because after you know I had that saved from Christian belief, um, accepting with Jesus and accepting God, um, I was told. Okay, put this in <laughs> I was told uh, that uh, a lot of times that, you know, if you just believe in Jesus, you know, and follow you know, Jesus, you'd be alright. But it wasn't really fitting right in my soul. So I, I always wanted to learn more. I know it's more towards that. And I, I guess I don't know if I'm so how did you become Muslim? Oh, how did I become Muslim? Um, I was with my friends, um, actually, I was with my grandpa first last summer, and I went to a mosque with him. Um, I like the way they pray in the, in the, the, um, the call of prayer. i never seen it before. It's my first time going to a mosque. Then when I came up here to go to college in Buffalo Hill, I, um, I met my friend Suhail. Okay. Suhail. <laughs> And he brought me to a mosque and he showed me how to do the wudu and he showed me how to pray and he taught me the meanings of everything. Um, and as I you know, started getting more interested in learning more about Islam, um, I was still living at a house with two pastors. Uh, one goes to Harlem, one goes to the U. 
uh, and I was um, I was always 